Hello everyone, welcome back to WebDementors YouTube channel and we are watching learning bootstrap series. In this video, we're gonna see about panels in bootstrap. So what is panels? Panels are some kind of stylings given by bootstrap in order to make sure that your content is within a particular block. So let's see the actual description from the bootstrap.com documentation. And while not always necessary, sometimes you need to put your DOM in a box. For those situations, try the panel component. So this is how your panel will look like with the content inside. So if you want to add a panel, just add two divisions with the panel, panel default and panel body. Yes, by the panel default, you can understand that it has multiple variations in the color. One is the primary blue and then the second is the success green and then the information blue, which is light blue color and then the orange warning and red color danger. So we also have two varieties with heading that is having a title class and then uh, sorry here it is the title class and without the title class and uh, as you can see it also can be used with the footer instead of heading you can have a footer for the panel and uh, these are the variations in the color that I've said that's ended we can have tables within the panel and also outside the panel it automatically align itself to it and also the lists it's pretty much something that you can use in your website in order to make it look really good so why do I need the panel in the first place well if I reduce this browser to look like a, a mobile device you can see that the contents are continuous and people might find it difficult to find the difference between each block of content so in order to differentiate those we need a panel to show the clear differences between each content block so I'm gonna add the contents in here so let's see I'm gonna add the panels to my content that is a blog post content page and you can also find the difference in here I'm gonna uh, add the panels to my blog post content page uh, to make sure that it looks good and also you can see that I have added the footer I've copied the footer from the home page and uh, pasted it in the blog post content page so uh, this actually makes up a good looking website, but we have to make it much more perfect in order to make sure that the visitors are feeling good and also pleasant while they are looking at our website. I'm going to copy this and uh, put it on my page in here. So just after the column, I'm going to give some indents and we're going to close the div tags. and when I refresh the page you can see that there's a nice block has been seen so now the content is inside the block and it looks good I'm going to add the same thing to my sidebar sorry about that close the div tags now when I refresh the page you can see that the two content blocks can be seen so well if I reduce the size of the browser you can clearly see the differences between the two blocks see there yeah now that is how you can make your website look good so when I snap into the desktop portion you can see that it looks good and it goes on and snapping points can be seen this is the desktop portion and I we'll go to the small version and then we go into the extra small versions so that actually makes up a lot of work and now I'm going into the home page I'm gonna add the same panels to these three columns in order to show you how it looks just gonna use the same save it paste it in here and I'm going to close the divs in here let's see first let me paste it everywhere that I needed it I'm just going to indent those classes to make it look good because some of the IDEs will let you to finish off the div automatically when you type it but this uh, sublime text is not advanced like that yet so let's refresh it how it looks good so you can see that there is a lot of gaps I don't want these kind of gaps so I'm going to remove those offsets 
to make it look good but again when you remove these offsets you have to make sure that the column size is increased to 4 but first before increasing it let me show you how it looks so it's going to the end I'm just going to sorry about that and I'm going to add the 4 to all those columns this is how it will look it's too big but again uh, you can actually add the indents uh, you can actually add the gaps at the two ends of the places which will make it look good if you highly needed it but again uh, if you want it to be this big just leave it out so I'm going to add the three and I'm just going to add some offset on MD offset at the end so what it's going to do is that it's going to add one in here and there's a couple in here so that's a problem while you're having three columns you'll be having three plus three plus three that is nine one in here ten and two columns in here so that is probably a bigger problem so that's why I need it to be four four and four again there is a gap but you can see that it's just snapped down so I'm just going to remove the offset Well, at times you might be needed to give some manual or stylings in the custom way in order to give some correct sizing but what happens is that you have to make sure that it actually works on all the sizes of the device so now I can see that when I reduce the size of the browser it actually snaps in good but in here it's not so good but what do you do it's looking good it's actually size of 316 to 200 pixels so it's not going to snap up to the entire area well if you are having a bigger image it will automatically align itself but again this is going to be at the end it it will be difficult for you to actually design everything but try to make sure that your image is bigger enough so that it automatically adapts itself to the sizes of the devices but most of the time you'd be having this and when you have a smaller tablet you'll be having this size so you also have to make sure that your website is looking good and uh, just uh, adding some good image sizes will make up a uh, good change in here and also we can actually center this with using the center block class but I'm not going to do this in this video I'm just going to show you how the panels can be added and this is the way you add the panels to your blocks or the columns that you use in your website and this is going to actually make your website look really really good of course you can add some custom styling to these panels by adding different colors and then giving some background colors that is different so yeah before going into it let me actually give a background color to the body show you how it can be done so I'm just going to add the background color in here yeah, to some light gray you know some light gray you can see that it can be easily visible of course it's a little bit too dark you don't have to give this much dark gray you can reduce the uh, color of it using the HTML codes helper that is available in the internet in a much higher way so that's the end of this video hope it was useful for you people if you find this video useful please like this video share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you have any kinds of doubts issues problems or if you have any kind of feedbacks and suggestions to us please use the comment section of this video or our Facebook page or Twitter feed thank you for watching this video and have a great day